Hello friends, welcome. My name is Allison, aka The Copy Needed Creative. I love everything Art Planners Journals and all the things between. Today I'm doing something a little bit fun. I am not only going to do a journal with me, but I'm also gonna show you the day a little bit. A very short clip, so here you see it. This is Chicago, and on this day, I actually went to the Art Institute of Chicago, which is one of my favorite art museums I haven't been in so long and it's just one of the places that I go to get inspiration and just see great art. And this picture is from Bissa Butler, which was actually my favorite exhibit. This is one of my favorites. And then I went for the Monet exhibit. So that was it, very, very quick, but I wanted to sort of give it a try. What do you guys think? Do you like seeing bits and pieces of Chicago and of the actual days? Um, but don't quite decide yet because obviously you have to see how the page turns out. So right now I'm working on the page for that day, Sunday, the 16th of May. And what I'm doing is taking some very bright, very colorful watercolors and basically just coming up with like a fun little background. And the reason why I wanted to do something really bright, really colorful, really cheery, was not only was it a gorgeous day, but as I mentioned, that Bissa Butler exhibit really inspired me. It was just a, a beautiful surprise. I had gone for the Monet exhibit, and while I was waiting to get into the Monet exhibit, I wanted to check out this one. And right now I'm actually taking I cut out a picture of the visitor's guide, which that is from her work. It's it's the image that they use in the visitor visitor guide. And that's what I'm going to be putting at the bottom of the page. So because the color was so bright, I decided to sort of mute it a little bit with some very bright yellow. Um, so that's what you see me doing right now. But let me just tell you a little bit more about this art exhibit. So this artist is amazing. She basically everything is done in quilts and colored fabric, very, very vibrant, using sort of a portrait style in order to basically represent moments in time in African-American history and African history, um, iconic figures, people that were close to her life. It was just so cool. And then the other thing that was really cool about this exhibit was that she also put together a playlist. So you could listen at each sort of portion of the exhibit and listen to songs. Now I had gone with a friend of mine, so I didn't do that, but I am definitely planning to return in order to experience it. So I just thought that was really cool, very immersive, lots of really bright colors, lots of, lots of really fun patterns. And so it was just, it was great. So if there's any Bissa Butler exhibits near you or at your local museums or whatnot, please like go check it out. I'm curious as to if I'm late to this 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 uh, amazing artist, <laughs> um, now I'm just taking some washi because I had actually, I uh, uh, glued it quite high. So I decided that I wanted to sort of put some washi down to sort of get disrupt that white strip. And I just wanted something really bright. I'm not sure it totally goes, but it's fine. I like it. Um, and now I'm taking other bits and pieces from the visitor's guide to try to figure out like what I wanted to do with it. I ended up not using that. Um, and then this is a picture of one of the Monet um, paintings. Now, one thing that's nice about Chicago Art Museum, the Art Institute of Chicago, is that they actually have quite a few Monets as it is, a lot of the haystacks. So this was just more of like, of course, a lot more. Um, and there were some cool bits and pieces to it. Like they, they showed x-rays digitally of the different images. So you could kind of see how the artist had changed their mind you know Monet painted something painted over it and then the other thing that was really cool is they showed a bunch of like caricatures that he had drawn um you know throughout his like even as a kid and so that was really neat to see um but I didn't spend a ton of ton of time in the exhibit even though that was the primary reason I went there were quite a few people and yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it, but I, I'm a member, so I just didn't want to like spend a ton of ton of time. Um, I did go with my friend. Um, so there, I you saw me try to figure out what to do with the picture of him and I, because we of course took a selfie. This was one of the first times I've been sort of out and about, um, especially downtown in Chicago, et cetera, since, since everything kind of kicked off last year. So it was just really great to see 
him and we got a coffee. We sat outside. We drank our coffee. So it was just such a lovely day. It was it was honestly the best day. It was one of those days that like just honestly felt like a a restoration. It restored a lot of vitality and energy and even creativity for me. So it was awesome. So now I'm just taking a uh, sticker in order to designate that it was the 16th of May. And then also that little Art Institute square that I had glued down a few minutes before. It was just from the visitor's guide. I'd cut it out. So now I'm putting down the day, which is Sunday. That I believe is Gosh, I don't know who that is. Maybe it's Pocket Journal Pam. Maybe it's Loveland's Life. Uh, yeah, if you really, really want to know, I will absolutely check for you. But let me know in the comments. And that's that little picture of me and my friend. So I just put it down in the corner. And I personally really enjoy the way this page turned out. It's super bright. It's super fun. Um, and then I took this white space to actually journal and just talk about how great the day was and how much it was. It Yeah, I, I know I'm kind of like going on and on, but... These are the days that I don't want to forget. And that's why I do this daily practice in part because of days like this day. So um, now I'm just putting some very much finishing touches on some washi here and there. And that is basically how the page turned out. Um, how have you been doing it? I'm curious, what are you doing um, to keep yourself inspired? Uh, for me, it was this art museum trip. But what are you doing? I'm, I'm a little bit of a at a loss. So. I appreciate your comments. Bye.